Hey guys, this is CK at CK Education. And today I want to talk about purpose versus patterns. Um, this is, uh, I'm not talking about the purpose of life or anything profoundly deep like that. Although I do talk about that um, in my other videos. Today is, is more of a practical matter. Purpose versus pattern. And here's what I mean. Unfortunately, I think that most people in society are comfortable following patterns. Now, there, there are different words for this. Traditions, status quo, um, you know, the crowd, the herd, whatever you want to call it. People are comfortable in following. People are, are comfortable in following trends and fads and patterns and traditions and routines. And they're not always bad. But the problem comes in when people stop thinking. Uh, and, and they stop, they just basically turn off their, their, their reasoning, um, you know, switch in their heads and they just follow and they don't really know why they forgot the purpose. And what I want to say today is you always have to consider the purpose of something much more than the pattern of things. Okay. So for example, uh, yesterday was Thanksgiving. So this is a very simple example, of course, but, um, the pattern is, oh, we have turkey, we have mashed potatoes, we have stuffing, we have, you know, uh, sweet potato pie, we have whatever the thing is. We have apple pie, pecan pie, pumpkin pie. We have the pattern. This is how it goes. This is what we usually do. This is what we always do. Um, and then when you sit down and think, what, what is the purpose of it? What, what is the purpose of it? Well, everybody may, may have a different purpose for Thanksgiving, but I think for, for most people, it's a day of giving thanks. You know, in, in many cu cultures, um, countries that do not have Thanksgiving, they have some kind of an alternative day similar to it, like Harvest Day or, you know, the Autumn Moon Festival in China or something like this or, um, you know, Chuseok in Korea, you know, whatever the thing is. But it's like it's like celebrating the harvest. You know, it's a, it's a time to give thanks for the harvest. It's to appreciate um, the hard work and, and the blessings that you've gotten. So, but in America, you know, we call it Thanksgiving. It's a day of thanks. And it's a day in which we give thanks for the things we have, for the people we have, for, you know, uh, who we are and, uh, you know, for, for God's love to us and God's blessings in our lives. And it's a time to give thanks. That's the purpose of it. The purpose is not to eat turkey. That is just a pattern. That's just something we do. Now, there's nothing wrong with that pattern. I'm not saying anything's wrong with it. But if we only follow the pattern without considering the purpose, we miss the deeper meaning in things. Christmas is the same thing. The pattern is, oh, there's lights, there's Christmas trees, there's Christmas carols, there's, there's uh, Santa Claus, there's presents. And this is the pattern. Again, nothing wrong with that pattern. And uh, there's nothing wrong with continuing those traditions. And I follow many of them. But I don't um, forget, I don't neglect uh, to consider the purpose. What is the purpose of Christmas and, uh, and so forth. And so it's so important to understand and always consider and be aware of the purpose of things. Um, if you look at school, so many students, they follow the pattern. You, you, go, you do your homework, you take the test, you get a grade. Why? Well, everybody does it because I'm trying to get into school, trying to get into college. And so I have to get good grades. I have to do a lot of extracurriculars and I have to do all the SAT and on and on. This is the pattern. Many forget the purpose. What is the purpose of it? The purpose is an education. But people forget that. Uh, they don't even care if they forget everything they learned. As long as I get an A, who cares? Okay. Well, you know, that, but that kind of thinking permeates society. It's in everything we do. Um, think about religion. No matter what religion you are, um, you know, people follow the patterns. Most people are good at following patterns. They go to mass and they do the, 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 the patterns, the traditions, the things, the routines that they're supposed to do. They go to church. They do the things that they're supposed to do. They sing the songs they're supposed to sing. They say the prayers. They stand up at a certain time. They sit down at a certain time. They say the right things. They put on a smiley face and, and, they, and they fool other people. And yet they forget the purpose of that. What is the purpose? The purpose is to draw close to God. The purpose is to be more dependent on Him. The purpose is to be more humble. The purpose is to learn to trust Him and have a real relationship with God. And yet, many people have forgotten that. They just follow the pattern. You know, it's the same thing with people's careers. 
The purpose is to find your passion. The purpose in your career is to find your calling in life. What is that thing that I'm supposed to do? What is that thing that I was put on earth to do? They don't think about that. There's, well, you know, you go to college, you're supposed to get a job. You're supposed to get the highest paying job you can. You're supposed to advance your career. You're supposed to make the most money you can. It's just on autopilot. And then you just stop thinking and you just keep following the pattern. And this is the problem, you know. And this is so, this is why when people grow up in certain family cultures, um, you know, like people, people say, scientists and, 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 and researchers, and people always wonder, well, if someone grows up in the ghettos, if someone grows up in a family environment, which is very difficult, nobody is educated, uh, you know, people making poor decisions, the parents are on drugs, and blah, 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 it's a very, very, very uh, poor environment. Why can't the person just get out of that environment? Because most people follow patterns. Because most people follow the patterns that, that are instilled in them, they don't think about, they don't stop, they don't pause to think about, is this right? Is this the right thing? If I keep going down this pattern, this road, this journey, where will it lead me? They just, it's instilled in them. They're used to that. They're so used to that, they, they just go down that road, not knowing, not even realizing, not being aware that they're going to end up in the same place that their parents ended up in, and which... They don't want to end up there. They didn't want to end up there, but they find themselves there and they think, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with my life? Why can't I get out of it? Because you just follow patterns. And it's the same thing with so many other things. I've been working in this job. Everybody says I have a great job. Everybody envies my position. And yet when I go home, why am I so miserable? After 30 years of working, after 20 years of working, why am I so unfulfilled in this job? Why do I feel so empty? I've been religious my whole life. I go to church, I go to mass, go to synagogue, go to my temple, I go to my mosque. And yet, 20 years later, 30 years later, 70 years later of doing that and being very religious, why do I feel empty inside? Why does my soul feel not at peace? What is wrong with it? Perhaps it's because you've just been following patterns and not understanding, being aware of, considering the purpose of what it's supposed to be. You know, it's in little things too. You know, I do, I, I like little home renovation projects. I, I like to, I, I'm, I'm somewhat of a handyman. I like doing things like that and doing little small um, home renovation projects and, and things like that. And often when I do it, I know that there are certain ways and certain patterns, certain traditions, certain methods and certain conventions that people follow when they do that. But I really don't just do that. I, I, the, the whole thing that's fun for me is when, I, when I'm working on something, redoing part of the bathroom or whatever the thing is, I think about what is the purpose of this? What is the purpose of doing this thing? What is the purpose of putting this molding here? What is the purpose of you know, making the cabinets like this? What is the purpose of having this in the kitchen or putting this over here? I, I'm, I'm constantly thinking of the purpose because if you think about it that way, you get creative. If you think about it that way, you think maybe this isn't the way you have to do it. And oftentimes the answer is, you're right, you don't have to do it like that. You can do it a different way. And oftentimes, nobody might do it like that. But it's refreshing. It's great. It works because it's for you and it works for you. And so I would encourage you, rather than following all these patterns in every area of your life, you start thinking about what is the purpose of that? What is the whole purpose of doing that? or the purpose in the thing that I'm doing that I'm supposed to find, that I'm supposed to realize. And if you think of it that way, I think you'll have a much more, um, a, a much deeper understanding of um, what you should do in life. You'll, you'll find much deeper fulfillment in the things that you do. And if you don't, I think you'll begin to think and you'll begin to find out, discover why you're not finding fulfillment, why you're not finding joy, why you don't have any peace in the things you do, even though you've been told by everybody that if you keep doing that, you will. But inside your heart, you know you don't. And uh, my bet is probably uh, you're following patterns instead of understanding or pursuing the purpose of what you're doing. So I hope that uh, you'll take that advice. That's my advice for today. And thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. And uh, until my next video, I hope you stay well.